Well hi again, today we're down near Margaret River on a place called Taunton Farm which is a big four caravan park and but it's a farm theme and I'll show you around in a minute and presently Orange getting set up to fly her drone and there's a couple of camels out there somewhere probably about a half a kilometre away but Orange going to fly out there and say hello to the camels so this should be an interesting video coming up but uh, yeah we'll have a bit of a look around it's a nice sunny day as you can see and uh, I'll turn around and you can see that it's a beautiful farm there's not many people in the caravan park but that doesn't matter so here goes Irene new pilot When I was a kid, well my grandparents were some bee farmers, so like most people, kind of like getting out in the bush and having a bit of a look around. I've always been someone that loves getting in a four-wheel drive and uh, going exploring. But we're just having a bit of a look around this farm, and uh, you know when you get out in the bush it's like therapy, it's like... Well, there is, you know, God is in the bush. It's like a real sense of peace. Let's just have a look over here. I'll just show you this thing here. Here we have a uh, a place where they feed the animals. So what they do, rather than throw bales of hay on the ground, they fill this ring up and cut the strings off them, and the cows can put their head between the bars and... Uh, have a bit of a feed and as you can see if they never had that here the ground is uh, well I wouldn't like to sit in there with no undies on put it that way but uh, yeah so that's you know it's not that interesting but if you don't know what it is that's what they're about fill them up with hay and feed the cows there's a few cows and horses and sheep over here I thought we'd walk over here and have a bit of a look one thing you gotta remember when you come on a farm so there's some big poos here and if you stand in one of those I kind of think it's going to be pretty bad so but here we go I'll, I'll turn the camera around and have a look I've got the horses and the cows I hope they're friendly later on in the day at five o'clock they have an animal feeding time so I'm sure they'll be right but you know the horse and the cows stop and they're just looking at me so I think they're trying to work out whether I want to eat them or be their friend. Let's go and see. Hello, how you doing? Old cows come to say hello. It's always nice to have friendly animals. Pretty cute, aren't you? Hey? Well, that was good. Something nice being able to pat animals. I mean, animals are friendly. And uh, a few little cars are friendly. I just found out we're not supposed to be in the paddock. So I better go back and get Irene and tell her that we're not supposed to be in here. She did say that they've got two camels here. And she said, don't go near them. They'll, uh, they'll bite you for sure. So apparently one of the... Uh, Camels doesn't have a hump, so he's named Humphrey, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, we'll go back and get Irene and we'll go out of the paddock just to keep everybody happy. Don't upset people. So here comes the drone. The good thing about these drones is that you can fly them anywhere, even if you lose sight of it. Just push one button, home button, and it'll come back to you. And it'll land where it took off from. So, let's see Irene land. 
Here it comes. It's pretty clever. That's alright. Well done. And it turns itself off. How clever is that? Well, we're just walking back from uh, the paddock. And as I said, you got to watch where you're walking here. There's some uh, big poos. So, we, as I said earlier on, we got the lady was nice. She said, oh, I'm not supposed to be in the paddock. So, no, okay. So, we'll go over here. Orin might fly a drone from here a bit and have a look around. Apparently, the camels bite, so we won't be saying hello to them. Uh, where's the gate gone? Oh, it's over there behind the shed. So, yeah. So, how was that, Toots? Was you, how was your flying? Good? I thought I'd do a bit of practice, though. Bit of practice? Can't see the way it's going. Yeah. But here's a good place to fly it, though, isn't it? It's just lots yeah. of room. There are trees over there, but out that way it's pretty good. Practice. But the reality is, you know, you, it's. The drone, you, you quickly lose sight of, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's, it's only just a pen prick. Yeah. But once you uh, learn to look through the screen, you're pretty sweet. It's the size of a mobile phone, so you imagine if a mobile phone's flying up there. Yeah, well, that's a point. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Well, it's a little bit dark here because I've got the sun behind me a little bit. But I thought we'd go for a bit of a walk over and check out the camp kitchen. You know, a lot of people travel around the caravans and, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with free camping. And I uh, can't say I've done much of it myself. Maybe when I go over Eastern and Nullarbor and that, I'll do a bit of free camping. But, you know, I love caravan parks. I love coming out, the atmosphere, the people. You know, they've got lots of facilities. You know, for 35 bucks a night, you get so much for 35 bucks for two people. And you know what? You can have the longest showers that you ever like. Yeah, it's really good. You don't have to worry about wasting hot water like you do at home. But we're going to have a look at the camp kitchen and see what they're doing. After this caravan park, we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to Bustling for a few days, just to muck around. As 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 you know, we like playing around with our cameras. And then um, then we think about going back to Margaret River down to the other farm down there. So that'd be pretty good. I'm pretty sure we will go. I haven't, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure we will. So, but let's go and have a look at this camp kitchen. So here we go. I don't know if they've got two of these. Oh, it's very nice. Nice and rustic. So they've got some pretty interesting things. Old saddles on the wall. A few old things there. Tables, fireplace, plenty of wood. I kind of like the dirt floor, it gives it a nice barn feel. Over here's a barbie. You know, camp kitchens are good. We sometimes bring a lot of meals we've prepared, but um, when you want to cook something, either cook outside or cook in the camp kitchen, otherwise your caravan smells like chops. So yeah, a couple of stoves, a couple of big fridges, not sure if that's working, TV, fridges, and uh, well, look at this old girl, old gas stove, that's pretty good. So yeah, so it's really nice, a few old saws, big trap there, I don't know what that, uh, hmm. they're really big traps, not, not kind of sure what you'd catch in that, it's pretty big. Maybe, oh, maybe foxes in it. They might do that. <coughs> so, yeah, oh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. It's pretty quiet down the park at the moment. But it's beautiful. Just, it's just so nice, fire pit. So, you know, I'm sure that get a few people and uh, light the fire and they'll bring your chairs over and a bottle of wines and talk about whatever they talk about. So yeah, all right, we'll go back and see the pilot and see how she's going. You know, I should always try and... I suppose I've learnt at this age, your life is speeding along, really. 
And if you've got a chance to go away and do things, do it. It's pretty easy just to sit at home and do nothing. So you kind of got to get busy and uh, go away and do things. Like I always say, live every day like it's your last because one day you're going to be right. So, uh, that's good. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed a little look around the farm. I'll turn the camera around and just show you another view from over here. Orange is going to uh, fly her drone around a windmill. So we've got a windmill, a dam full of water, and she's going to draw, do a circle around it. So it's an expensive mistake if it all goes pear shaped. So here's the the drone's just about two o'clock on the right hand side of that windmill, and Orange just working out. Oh, here it goes. I think she's got it. Now, if you can see the drone, it does a circle around it and films it as it goes. Well, half a circle anyway. It's pretty good. Certainly sounds like one of the biggest mosquitoes you ever heard. Has old toots. Orange having a great time. Having a great time. This is what it's about. Here it comes. Well, Orange going again. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day. Everything's beautiful and green. People starting to arrive. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. Kids' playground coming up. There's Iron coming to land a drone. It has sensors on the bottom so it doesn't hit the ground. Just lands and turns off. Give yourself a clap. <laughs> There's the old farmer. Rounding up the cows with his car. This cow here has just been a bit naughty. Oh, he's just not in a good book. He needs to become a hamburger. On this farm there's a couple of uh, historical buildings from 1928 they were built. So they've renovated these buildings, this is a community hall. And uh, what they said they hope to do is use these buildings for, you know, when the caravan parks for, they probably have social nights here. It'd be a great opportunity. When I was a kid they used to, at Sunday school they'd have halls like this. And um, all the families would come and have a games night and everything. Everyone brings a bit of food, it's great. So that's what they're kind of planning here. and. On this side behind me you'll see that there's an old church and the office has a key so we'll go in there tomorrow and have a bit of a look around. But yeah, it's pretty good. When you go to a caravan park, every caravan park has a resident cocky. And I haven't met one yet. They all act super friendly until they get your finger. This guy here, look at him. He's just all happy, you know. Just talking, but I'm not sticking my finger in there. I'm sure that I'll come back with a piece missing, so we won't do that. Just coming back to this cocky. We just found out that he's 30 years old. And uh, he loves women, but hates men. So you can't put your finger in there. So there you go. Oh, well. It's pretty nice here, as you can see. And that cocky, I was just thinking about that cocky that, uh, you think that cocky's 30 years old, that's older than some of my kids. This is crazy. Yeah. So, good news now is we're going to go back, what do you reckon, Toots, and have a cup of tea. I reckon. A cup of tea and a biscuit. <laughs> yes. So that's it. So we'll see you later. Catch you next time. We all go down to the river. Is a splinter Is a